Good evening. Welcome to the show. For the next 60 minutes, you will witness something you've never seen before. A world of love, life, and truth. Something you've only seen in your dreams. And music. And beautiful music. Hit it, guys. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Well, she's the kind of girl makes you jump and drink. She drives a Cadillac that's a convertible bank. She got a skating rank running round her brain. She drives cap on insane, and no man will ever take calamity Jane. Her hair's red like a rooster. Like a dove with a long skinny legs, you know she's a cut above all the rest. Oh no, but she is not the same. She's wild as a horse on the plain, and no man will ever tame. Calamity Jane. I thought it was stone. She looked just like she came in out of the rain. She's the whistle on a train. And no man will ever change. Calamity Jane. Thank you. Well, we have a great show for you tonight. Uh, my guests are Jennifer Magnus, a wonderful blues singer, Danny Phillips, great songwriter, and Floyd Dixon, if God willing he ever gets here. I think he's lost on the highway, but even if he doesn't get here, we've still got a great show and lots of terrific music. So stay tuned, and we'll see you right after this. <laughs> We're back, and for those of you who have uh, just tuned in, this is the Smoky Miles Music Hour, coming to you live from Continental Cablevision Channel 37. I guess you know that because you're watching Channel 37. Anyway, those of you who tuned in last week and didn't see us, uh, it's because we weren't here last week. It was Labor Day, 
which is an interesting concept, a day devoted to labor, and that's just what we didn't do, any labor, and we hope you didn't do any either. We're not really laboring tonight because we're having a lot of fun, and uh, we hope that you stay tuned and have a lot of fun with us, because that's what this is all about, a lot of fun and inspirational music, true music, music from the heart and with strings, and whatever else is acoustic. Um, I just want to say, before we uh, get going with the show, that... Um, we are going to be having some very special guests tonight, and stay, stay with us. Right now, I want to introduce a um, wonderful songwriter who originally comes from San Francisco, and he's been in L.A. for a few years, writing and singing and performing. Let's have a warm welcome for Danny Phillips. That song it was it's called uh, Gypsy Heart. Gypsy Heart, and that's one of your own songs, of course. Right? Yeah, yeah. Is that one of the new ones you've been writing? Yeah, I, I wrote that one with a guy named uh, Eric Carter, uh -huh. uh, piano player, keyboard player, and uh, we've been writing a lot lately. A guy with Brad Bailey, myself. Mm -hmm. You know Brad? Oh sure, Brad's yeah. a great guy. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, in fact, it was Brad that turned me on to uh, to your music. I heard one of your songs at his studio and said, "Wow, yeah. that's that's terrific." All right. Um, you know what I wanted to ask you? We were talking about this a little bit earlier. The, um, you were signed to a record company. I don't know if I should say the name now, but um, uh, what is the role, 
or the relationship between the record company and the artists uh, in contemporary music, the contemporary music scene? Oh boy. <laughs> well, they, uh, they'll put you in the studio and, and, uh, until you get it right. And uh, if you don't get it right, they won't do anything with it. And that's really why the whole thing is compromise. And you can't go into a situation thinking that uh, um, you're gonna write something to end all songs. You got to go in there and compromise, and rewrite is the name of the game. Well, Just go in there and rewrite. So, uh, what are you doing now? Are you making demos and performing yeah. around? Yeah, making demos and uh, uh, looking for a manager. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> we've got a big audience uh, out there. Maybe there's one out there. Yeah, really. Anyway, would you? Uh, I know you would like to sing another song yeah. for us. Would you? Sure, absolutely. Okay, Let's bring a fiddle play. Right? What's this one called? This one's called Fuel the Fire. Fuel the Fire. Okay, and uh, we're going to bring out Tony Salvage. Danny Phillips. Ready? Uh, thank you. This French Oak City has been home to me lately, but my home is with you. And always will be Let them walk down the road Let them cast in a stone It's the same story Let them both All the goals will Kick them in just you and me Fuel the fire The dust covered photo I keep by my window if one thing's for certain, that things are not what they sometimes seem. Let them curse our names, let them pass all the blame, it won't touch us. Let them stack all the days, we'll go for broke or we'll bust. Fuel the fire. Fuel the fire. That was Danny Phillips, he's great, um, and he'll be back later to jam with us. Right now, I want to tell you that Smokey here will be happy as a puppy if everybody out there at home writes us letters and tells us what you're thinking, and we'll read the best of the letters on the show. So grab your pencils and paper and take down the address. We're going to show it to you now and keep sending us those letters, lots and lots of letters. I don't like these artificial people walking up and down the street Thinking they're so clever, snubbing everyone they meet I don't like these phony balonies telling me how to live my life I'm all right the way I am I still believe in purpose 
perfect love I still believe in true romance Living that live is what this world ought to be made of I take my stand I'm a natural man I'm a natural man and I Hi, we're back <laughs> We're back and uh, I want to introduce right away my next guest. She's a wonderful country blues artist and uh, great singer. I first saw her at the Topanga Blues Festival and there she was on stage wailing like a banshee. Let's have a warm welcome for Jennifer Magnus. And uh, let's talk a bit. Come on, come on. Give her a microphone. What? You know, that song uh, reminds me of something I heard on a, a very, very ancient record. And um, I wonder, who wrote the song? Well, where does it come from? That's actually a, a Billie Holiday song. She penned that tune. It's called uh -huh. Billie's Blues. It's pretty much done, fairly original arrangement on that, other than the instrumentation is obviously different than what she was doing. It sounds a little like uh, Bo Carter. Remember Bo Carter? Sure, sure. And uh, which brings me to the question that I wanted to ask you was uh, what, what are some of your early influences in, the, in, in your singing, in the blues style that you came up with? I would say um, Elmore James, some Etta James stuff, which is a little bit later, Elmore James, early Edmore, Elmore James. Um, I'm real fond of Robert Johnson. Oh, yeah. Acoustic Robert Country Johnson, Blues, yeah. everybody's like, yeah, Robert Johnson, everyone knows who he is. But I am real attached to his his stuff, the few songs that he did. You know what, also, I saw you uh, Friday night, last Friday, at yeah. a great show 
fantastic show at the Music Machine. It was called the Red Hot Mamas of Blues. Red Hot Mamas Soul Review Soul is Review. what that was. That was a whole lot of fun. Uh -huh. Yeah, Friday night. How did that all come together? I know you had members of Bonnie Raitt's band. and That was Bonnie Raitt's band actually backing me up and I had a horn section as well as a piano player, keyboard player, Steve Fedora, who's a great piano player. Um, and I, it's simple, the cat who was the promoter on that called me up and said, I'm going to do this show on female singers, and um, I'd like you to be on the bill. That'd be great. If he ever puts that show together, will you be sure to tell us about it? Of course. Uh, yeah. It's a dynamite show, and everybody ought to see it. It was a lot of fun, a uh, whole lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you're playing somewhere in the near future, or you've been, you've been recording? Well, yeah, right now I'm uh, just in the beginning stages of concentrating on another uh, recording project, yeah. Uh-huh. So be working on that. I've been shopping for material and finally found so I'm going to do one of your tunes. You know that. Oh, that's right. Great mm -hmm. song. Going to be a hit. I know yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So. Well, I can't wait to hear it. Me too. Great. Uh, right now we've got to take you to something very special. It's a, um, a clip that we found uh, from I think it was 1926 or something like that of, was it 26 or 36? My uh, Floor director is telling me right now, 1937, is uh, Louis Satchmo Armstrong doing Diana, Diana. All right. So we'll take you to it, and then we'll have some more live music. That's an American. A young New Orleans musician who would later introduce himself thusly. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mr. Armstrong, and we're going to sing one of the good old good ones for you. Beautiful number, Diana, Diana. They got them on. Are you ready? They got them. One, two, three. back. Um, right now, I want to tell you a little story. I think I'm going to do this anyway. Uh, we, I'm going to tell it real quick. One time I went to a party upstate New York and I uh, walked in and a woman jumped on me, literally jumped on me, threw me down on the bed and started kissing me, saying, Eric, Eric, Eric. And I said, what? That's not my name. I'm Smokey. And she says, oh, I thought you were Eric Cavs. 
And the uh, next day I ran into Eric. I said, thanks, Eric. Uh, <laughs> thanks for looking like me, or me looking like you. Anyway, Geneva Magnus is going to sing a song by Eric Kaz called Love Has No Pride. Right now, Geneva Magnus. I want to thank, thank you, Geneva. Thank you. I want to thank Eric again for writing the song, and Geneva yeah. especially for singing it. And Libby Titus for writing the lyrics. Ah, Libby Titus is right on the lyrics. We'll be right back. Like a 
bellow and see that you don't even know what you're doing to me. You're selling me a treasure chest and I'm your buyer. Hey, I'm a mystifier. Well, we're back in gear, and um, I'm glad that you're still with us. We have a great audience tonight, and we're coming to you live every Monday night at 8.30, so please keep tuning in and telling your friends about it. Uh, right now, I want to tell you, first of all, about uh, something that happened to me over the weekend. I met a marvelous, remarkable person, and uh, we became friends. This is a man that I met quite by accident. He opened up a music store. Uh, which is a record store actually on Lincoln Boulevard and Palms and believe me this is no plug uh, for, for any kind of commercial venture but his name is Kerry Faye and he's so open to musicians it's just a pleasure to be in this uh, in this store and he's gonna find anything that you're looking for if you're looking for those hard to find out of print records and tapes uh, go there it's on Lincoln and Palms ask for Kerry Tell him Smokey sent you, and if you're real lucky, he'll pull out his jugs and wash tub bass and uh, jam with you. Right now, I want to read a, um, a little story that uh, came to mind in the middle of the night one time, and I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to make it pretty brief, but as you see, the adobe is burning, and it's time for Smokey's Corner. I was standing on the corner of 12th Street and Vine. Along comes this voodoo lady on a bicycle who says, I'm going to put a spell on you. I say, Mama, you got another thing coming if you think I'm going to fall for that one. So she roars with laughter and falls off her bicycle. Now up comes Magic Marvin and Lefty Louie. Marvin's wearing a purple raincoat with nothing underneath, and he's flashing like crazy. And Louie's got his hair all done up in spikes and grease and keeps twirling those points in his hair. And these two dudes look at the voodoo lady on the ground and start whispering something between themselves I can't figure out. Next thing I know, I'm in some strange place that looks like a dump truck. And there's a big grinding noise coming from the guts of this thing and it's getting louder and louder. And I'm holding my ears and I look up and there's Marvin up front and Louie in the back. And then the machine starts lifting. It's lifting, lifting me up in the air and I feel like I'm gonna fall into the center of the earth. Well, all of a sudden, the voodoo lady pulls up on her bicycle and says, excuse me for asking, but ain't you the seventh son of the seventh son? And I says, yes. And she says, well, if that's the case, you got some good luck coming to you. And I says, well, I could use some good luck right about now, because I don't want to fall into the center of the earth. And she says, ooh, gadugu. And the earth opens up and swallows it. And me? Well, let's just say I keep keeping on. And that's what we're going to do now as we take you to the calendar of events. They're both crazy about Art Deco and the latest architectural style. In cab rides to the office, they trace their investments as they rise. In the summer, it's the Hamptons. In the winter, up to stones. For some skiing in the mountains, yes, they're a couple on the go. And sometimes they're in Soho galleries, standing side by side like a couple of doves. Naturally, just immaculately, you could call it yuppie love. They know all the in restaurants use all the correct words. Names they drop to stay on top of the ones they call the nerds. 
Alligator shirts and string bow ties they pick up at blooming day. It's a good life, they reassure themselves as they're blazing new age trains. And Sundays with the New York Times, a croissant in a coffee cup, like a hand in a glove. Exchanging lines, feeling mighty fine, you might call it yuppie love. is a lawyer, my girl has his MBA. Hi, this is a song called Listen to Your Heart. my time kicking stones down alleys where the sun never shine dreaming of a rainbow that never did appear and left me stranded here so far and yet so near drowning in the tears of isolation the days pass me by like a string of photographs I never could connect No sense could I detect All cause did I suspect But desolation Then I met a blind street singer Singing out his song He showed me how to make right out of wrong He sang, listen to your heart It'll tell your stories Sing your songs, write your poems and if that's not enough, listen to your heart, it'll teach you how to love. It was a cold winter's day, on the streets of New York City, people hurried quickly by, looking fine and pretty, each one going their own way. Like any other day Just stay out of my way Keep your distance Looking lonely and forlorn If you stop to think about it Like stone walls walking tall There was no doubt about it And I too was the same And there was no one to blame For it's a hard and a heavy game To put up resistance I met a blind street singer singing out his song. He showed me how to make right out of wrong. He sang, listen to your heart. It'll tell your stories, sing your songs, write your poems. And if that's not enough, listen to your heart. It'll teach you how to love. Before. They've been so confusing, wires got crossed, love got lost. The common ground was lacking, and though we stood up tall, it seemed written on the wall. But one of us had to fall, and the other stumbled. But you can't give up hope. But where there's life, there's change, and if you feel love is real. Your dreams will be far ranging and we'll learn what to do to make them all come true. For it's up to me and you to make the old ways crumble. I met a blind street singer singing out his song. He showed me how to make right out of wrong. He sang, listen to your heart. It'll tell your stories, sing your songs, write your poems. And if that's not enough, well, listen to your heart. It'll teach you how to love. Listen to your heart. It'll teach you how to love. 
Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to bring back up Jennifer Magnus, who's going to be singing another song for us. Where are you? I'm right here. Come on up. Thank you. All right, we're going to do this uh, shuffle. We've got uh, Steve Fedor from Los Angeles that's going to help us out today on this. He's so kind to do so. Yeah. This one's called, uh, yeah. <laughs> Name of this tune was originally called Mean Mistreatin' Mama, but uh, we're just going to change it around a little bit. Ready? One, two, one, mm, mm, mm. You mistreat me all the time. Y'all mean mistreat a baby. You mistreat me all the time. I keep trying to tell you how much I love you. You never pay that no mind. Well, don't you remember, baby, when I knocked upon your door? I'm sorry to tell you that uh, Floyd Dixon uh, hasn't made it yet. I hope he's okay. Um, I guess he's just wandering around the 405 freeway somewhere or one of the freeways. But um, we're going to keep going and we're going to come back with some more music and a jam. So stay tuned and we'll see you after this.
Okay, we're back. I hope I hope you enjoyed the show as much as we enjoyed it tonight because we had a lot of fun, and uh, we're going to keep playing. We'll be here next week, 8.30 p.m. I've got some very special guests for you, and I hope they show up. Uh, I want to I thank uh, my guests tonight, uh, Laura, Tony, Steve, Danny, Jennifer, Steve Fedor, M Matt, and uh, everybody else who came to the audience tonight to help us do the live show. So right now we're going to jam on a song called I Got My Mojo Working and it goes like this. I'm going down Louisiana mama, get me a mojo hang.
have a 